Hey, what's up guys? How you all doing? So quickly before I start the video, I wanted to direct your attention towards a new game that might pique your interest if you enjoy tabletop role-playing games like Dungeons and Dragons or Fallout and so on. It's a game that's just gone into Kickstarter and is being developed by Silverbones, aka the Hidden Redcoat. He's of course the guy who also designed the Silva and Aegis in Warframe. He has worked his ass off on this game and the detail that's gone into the game itself and its rules and of course its artwork is absolutely unbelievable. So I will leave the link to his Kickstarter in the description below the video. Have a look and if it interests you then awesome. Also, this isn't a sponsored thing, I'm just trying to help a really nice dude out. So do me a favor and at least check the Kickstarter out. So now on to the point of the actual video. Following up from my Oberon video, I was thinking, what should I do next? What type of video would these guys really like to see? I know, so why not have a go on good old Hydraid? Everyone loves Hydraid, a Warframe that commands the furious might of the sea and becomes one with the tide, can turn into a puddle and make it feckin' rain. Sounds amazing, right? You can be the puddle that you always dreamed of being, just lay there being fucking useless. When he was first announced, we were told that Hydride would have the ability to call forth this fearsome monster from the deep, and with these huge tentacles it would spring up and wreak havoc among our enemies. Sheer feckin' annihilation of monstrous tentacles. Monstrous! Release the Kraken! Fuck it is. I'm not gonna lie, I had images of Pirates of the Caribbean, you know, when the Kraken is crushing that ship, and I had images of Davy Jones and all of these crazy ideas going on in my head about this new Warframe we were about to get. I was hyped. I was probably overhyped even. Something that the Warframe developers are really good at doing is hype. But the finished product, well, it speaks for itself. Instead of Tentacles of Doom, we got these slapping fapping. The slapping noises really don't help when using Hydride and his tentacle abilities. There's no monstrous roar, just slappy, clappy, floppy things. So why do so many players hate on Hydride? Why do I poke fun at him so much? And is he the worst Warframe in the game? Probably not. Is he the ugliest? Probably. I think maybe I dislike him because he just feels a little bit mediocre. There's so many different Warframes that do everything that Hydride can do, only they do it 10 times better. I mean, stat-wise, he's not actually too bad. He's not as squishy as other Warframes are, and I know plenty of players love running with Hydride. I don't, but that's fine. I'm just one guy. Just because I make YouTube videos doesn't mean that my opinion means anything more than the opinion of every one of you guys. I mean, if anything, I value your opinion more than mine because when making videos, I like to joke around. So you kind of have to take everything that I say with a pinch of salt or a cup of salt because I like to kind of poke fun of things. So if you enjoy playing with Hydride, then awesome, go you. If you enjoy being that guy who turns into a puddle on intercept missions and going to eat your dinner, then once you're happy, who gives a shit? If you enjoy all of those slapping, fapping noises, then you're a very disturbed individual and you should seek immediate help. But you get what I mean. Hydride has definitely got some value as a farming warframe. Unfortunately, Necros is better at farming resources, but when you combine a pilfering Hydride with a Necros, then you can get a nice haul of resources. His crowd control with the tentacles can be valuable in certain situations as well, like tight corridors or hallways. Just maybe tone the sound down so as you don't have to listen to it. And like I mentioned, his puddle can help on intercept missions, but please, for the love of God, don't be one of those guys, it's so freaking annoying. Augment wise, he has got some very decent ones. Pilfering Swarm and Curative Undertow. Curative Undertow can be a nice backup heal for teammates, but other Warframes heal much better as well. Hell, even the Sancti Magister probably heals better than Curative Undertow. Right now, I have three Hydrides in my inventory. What? Why? Why would you have three? Why the feck? Three Hydrides? What? It's simply because I stated in a previous video how bad I thought Hydride was. So, I got sent over 150 Hydride Noggles and two brand spanking new Hydride Warframes. Feckin' trolls, send me all the best things. This is how I go about modding my Hydride. I like going all in when building my wobbly chinned fat Warframe. Maglev, provoked, undying will, I mean, it's go big or go home. Provoked because I play Hydride, so I expect to spend a lot of time on my ass. Maglev because, quite frankly, I want to slidey all over the place. Gotta look good, right? Hell, if I could put warm coat on there, I would do that as well. But then again, this isn't actually the build that I run with my Hydride. This is my actual build. I tend to run 
for Pilfering Swarm whenever I run Hydride on bonus resource weekends. I will group up with a Necros from one of the guys on my Discord or one of my subscribers and we will run that. It's the only time I use Hydride. I will not use him any other time. But you guys can let me know what you think of Hydride. How do you rate him or how do you mod him? Leave a like if you enjoyed the video or don't if you didn't. Subscribe for more Warframe and as always, thanks very much for watching. Everybody do the flop. 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 Everybody do the flop.